Hey guys, welcome back to Spire. I'm Miss Coffee, and I want to talk to you guys about a couple of cards. Um, you may not remember these cards, hopefully you do, uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a reminder um, because they look a little different. So in Spire, our phonogram cards typically look like this, and you would say P, Pa, and we would go through them, D, Da, just like that. But as we get higher in the spire levels, we start to see cards that look a little different. They look like this, and they have multiple letters with a little dash on them. Um, so some of you may have forgotten that these cards are showing that there is an E at the end of a word. So this word might be lake, L-A-K-E, lake. Um, and so it's showing that and I don't know if you can tell, this is a green card, especially when you compare it to the white. You can tell one's green, one's white. Green means vowel. So in this case, we are looking at the first vowel. And remember, when we have an E on the end of a word, it makes the vowel say its name. So in this case, we would just say A, because that's his name. We wouldn't say ah, like a, an A normally would say. We have E, so it says a. That's why when we say the word lake, we say a, ache, lake. So we hear that a. It's going to be the same with a card like this. This would be like the word bike, b-i-k-e. The e makes that i say its name. So we, when we see this card, we say i, bike, i, ike, bike. And same with this card. What do you think this card would sound like if we said it? Yeah, it would say O oh, because the E makes this vowel say its name. So this would be like the word road. R o -d. So we hear that O oh, because of the E. If we took that E off, but we still had R O D, then this vowel no longer says its name and it would be rod. But when we add that E, it becomes road because now the O says its name. Same thing, E. Now we would say U. U, like tune. You hear that? U. U. Sorry, there's a really loud car in the background. This is another way to just say E. E, like in the word peat, P-E-T-E, -E, that E makes the E say its name, E, peat, E, eat. And this one is a little different, but I just wanted to give you guys the reminder that, let me find the other version of it. Um, do you guys know what's different about this card maybe? Kind of think about it, look at the color, what does that mean? Let's see. It's green, what does green card mean? Do we remember? It means it's a vowel. So here we have a white card. So this card says Y, yeah. But this is green, so now it's a vowel, so we would say Y. I, so yeah, I. This would be in the word fly, F-L-Y, but it sounds like an I because it's now a vowel. The Y becomes a vowel when it's at the end of a word. So when Y is a consonant, when it is white, it might be at the beginning of the word, it might be in the middle of the word, and it says yeah, like in yo-yo. But when it's green, we say I, like in fly. I hope that's helpful, a little quick recap on um, some of our vowels and what they look like, what they mean, how they sound. I know you guys totally got this. You guys are champs. I have no doubt that you fully understood that. And if you don't, that's perfectly okay. We're still learning. If you need a little more help or a little more practice, just uh, send me an email. I would be more than happy to go over it again. Bye, guys.